Hello sailors, my name's Andy and this is my wife Misty. A few years ago we bought an old neglected sailboat for 3500 bucks, and I've been working on it ever since. I literally learned how to sail on YouTube, but later we both took some lessons. I used to think that sailing was only for rich people, it's not. I used to also think that you had to sail around the world to have fun, you don't. Click subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and join us, and we'll show you how much fun you can have coastal cruising on a cheap sailboat. Welcome to Sailing Soleil. Alright, this is our fall epic sailing adventure. We got David once again, Captain Killdragger. That's right. And we're gonna head. The weather's been all over the map this whole week, and we kind of waited till this morning to figure out where we would go. Mark has made the decision that we're gonna go to Cat Harbor. Cat Harbor. Cat Harbor. And then from there, likely go to San Diego. There's the detention center on Terminal Island. Looks abandoned. <laughs> on the side of that tug, it said 16 feet of draft. That's wild. All right, just past Angel's Gate, headed to Catalina. What's that? It looks like it un itself. What's that? It looks like it un itself. All the way. Yeah, it looks like it's un. Uh, actually, you're you're fine. Watch, watch your head. Is the stack pack undone? Oh I think no, you gotta it's undo not. It. Yeah, hang on. You gotta undo watch the stack pack. Then come hoops here. Mostly me. We might have to employ the f bomb counter. The f bomb counter. <laughs> No shortage. He's got his zipper on the stack pack hooked up to where it's got blocks on each side and he can zip it and unzip it from the cockpit. Pretty cool. Blood and rage. Watch the halyard up there. Go ahead, David. Just keep yep, going. you're good for now. Start uh, unrolling the head sail. They call it oh, it's it's over. It's got an override. Oh, well, yeah. Hang on, hang on. David, uh, give it more slack on your end. I think the furler's a little jammed. Yeah, here, I want to hold this. I'll, I'll run up there and help it. Okay, leave it, a, leave it a few inches off the spreaders up above. How close are you? Uh, about a foot, foot and a half. That's about a foot. You're getting pretty close now. Uh, let's see. That looks good. Go ahead and uh, wrap it up. Put that winch handle down. Back to the pocket. Where's the pocket at? Forget. Okay. That's what it is. So all that work we did and the wind died as 
we knew it would. Got a little dolphin pod coming right at us. hanging out in the cockpit and then we heard a call for towboat US. Any of your member number or the phone number associated with the account? We got a disabled sea dew that's not far off the coast of Avalon on Catalina Island and then they gave their position and it almost looks like you know on our trajectory close to it anyways. Um, so we're just paying attention and uh, making sure we don't hit them actually and uh, see if we can help out in any way if we do get in touch with them. One nine west, is that correct? That is correct. Uh, your Harbor Light Yacht Club near the Queen Mary, Long Beach. Yeah, he called for towboat US and said he's a disabled sea dude. What's kind of cool is this young man sounds like he knows what he's doing. He had his latitude and longitude. He knew how to use a VHF and uh, made the call. Okay, what is wrong with that? Uh, see a pack of CDs over there. Did you give me another 10 more to board? Yeah, I did. Yeah, you're at 105. Course over ground, 106. Need another five to port. Five to port, copy. Course over ground, 99, 100. All right. Let's, uh, let's hold course. David makes a great point. In an hour and a half, it's gonna be super dark out here. And this guy on the sea dude is out here. Sounds like they're deploying somebody. We've we've altered our course to try to uh, try to intercept and at least see if I, I don't know what Mark's motive is, but maybe see if we can assist in some way. Uh, See, see if we find him. I kind of want my own binoculars. So the last update I heard from the radio was that they couldn't hear um, they couldn't hear his transmissions anymore. So man, this could turn into a freaking 
search and search and rescue <laughs> before too long. There he is. There he is. He's right there. Five degrees to port. Five degrees to port. I would say about five. I see him. You can see him with your with your uh, naked eye now. Good copy, Tobo. Roger. There he is. <sighs> okay, so that's kind of cool. We've got eyes on him. We found him. And uh, we're going to roll up on him and see if they need our assistance of any kind. What's up, guys? What's up, man? Good. Good. Heard your just, call. Just having some issues. <laughs> just, just waiting for a tow boat. Believe me, if this was my jet ski, I'd be trying to live at home, or I'd be sitting on shore. I wouldn't like sit here all lame, like. Ugh. I, I was gonna hurt. tell you, you can't park your car here. <laughs> <laughs> we, we heard you on the uh, radio talking to tow boat US. Oh, nice. Well, I mean, I was gonna say, hey, if you want to. Uh, you want to tie up? We have no problem hanging out for an hour till they get here. If you want a beer, we got beer. I mean, that sounds nice to me. <laughs> yeah, I'm here for it. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. All right, we rescued Gannon from death, and <laughs> <laughs> from certain death. From certain death, we rehydrated him, and uh, now he's here to be rescued by the official rescuers. So my engine starts after this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Old gentleman, I'm in. thank you so much. Gannon. Appreciate you guys. You want to just jump on the ski and then I'll come up to you? That sounds good to me. Thanks, guys. I really you appreciate bet. the love. Of course, man. Glad to help out. Have a good trip back. Woo. Cheers, boys. Cheers. Cheers. Have a good one. You too. And for the record, yes, the sea dew starts, but it's just not reliable. So that's why he called for help. All right, I came forward just to do our, a little check-in. Uh, we're about two miles from White Cove. We're gonna stay the, just a few hours, kind of like a, a dinner hook at White Cove or Moonstone. But the wind now has shifted, so it's looking more like it's uh, favoring White Cove. Set the hook, make some dinner, take a little rest, and then we're gonna leave later on this evening for San Diego. go fast enough that if I have to stop it from coming down I can stop it sure so it doesn't run away oh and then when it gets to red you've got a couple hundred feet out all right the last thing that you'll see if you see like like the orange zip ties on it stop it because you're out of chain all right don't let it get past the zip tie. all right what's up it won't move there you go it's free yeah. it's free Come on, get off of there. All right, you're good. What's up? Yeah, give it a, I mean, it's kind of a two-handed deal. The, uh, I'm going to back up just a little bit. There's red right here. That's red? Right here. Okay. A little marker. Just go ahead and let it out. Start letting it out a little slower now. That's, That's it. Zip ties. We got zip ties. Backing down on the anchor. That was the eddies. All right, these are the sleeping quarters for the weekend. We're in the V-berth. I still have a lot of organizing to do. 
We're anchored here at White Cove on the White Cove uh, side of the complex. And uh, there's Moonstone Cove over there. That's where I popped my anchoring cherry. And this is where we came a few different times this past summer. Very beautiful out here right now. So we're gonna just take a little rest now and then um, have some dinner when we, after a rest, and then head to San Diego tonight. So it'll be overnight passage to San Diego. Uh, last I heard, we're trying to get in around 10 a.m. Sharp, nice. All right, uh, David, cook us dinner. Be, you gotta see this. It's gonna be like butter knives, or there might be a knife or two in there. <laughs> this is how we do it. Gracias. Woo. Thank you, David. Yeah, Looks course. delicious, bro. Thanks for watching. Join us next time where we end up in Mission Bay, San Diego for a recon mission on one of the anchorages. Then turn around and head right back to Avalon on Catalina Island because the weather changed. If we would have stayed, it would have been a real beat to get back. Thanks for watching. See you next time.